So I've been uh, trying to figure out how to program my Turnergy 9x. Uh, it's on the standard firmware version 2, so that should be no problem. Um, I just I'll go over the channels, uh, which goes where, uh, real quickly. You've got your uh, channel one, channel one. Let's follow it. It goes to your right hand side elevator or elevon. Channel two, channel two goes to the left hand side elevator or elevon. Channel three is your throttle going to the ESC. Channel 4 is going to the right hand side aileron and channel 6 you skip channel 5 channel 6 goes to your left side aileron channel 5 somehow uh, it doesn't work for me I don't know why but uh, we'll go into that later before you do anything uh, you should really uh, disconnect uh, the motor do not attempt to uh, figure it out with the motor on as you can see I have my motor plugged out uh, just one cable out maybe you want to take two out um, yeah because if you do something uh, wrong uh, your motor starts uh, running and uh, your plane is gonna damage or uh, you get in a lot of trouble so you got the, the standard menu going into the system um, I have this stick set which uh, for me uh, I'm on a mode 2 yeah I'm on mode 2 in Europe uh, for me I use this stick set if you uh, if you uh, go wrong and your throttle goes to another stick uh, you know, your motor starts running so that's why I disconnect your motor because uh, you will get damage so this is what I've got uh, throttle reverse no we don't want throttle reverse alright going into some mixing for me what I wanted to do uh, you've got the switch I want to start uh, I am new to flying I want to start flying elevons only elevons only so uh, you want to set, uh, sorry, I'll show you, oh, reverse, set it up like this, your aileron reversed, elevator reversed, throttle, normal, rudder, gyro, uh, just like that. Right, just set it up like that and you'll be fine. Then you go to elevon, because you want to go flying elevons. You've got a lot of choices. You can set up V-tails, elevator flaps, air brakes. Uh, well, we don't want to do that. We just want to do elephants. Uh, once you do one, uh, you make it active. Uh, you can't program another one on the same uh, uh, setup. Uh, so the state, state, you've got uh, in, ha, uh, I don't know what it stands for, and you've got active, probably. Active means it's active and that is what it's gonna use first off I set up my elevons and I just uh, fill the round a bit with my uh, with my stick making sure my elevons were making indeed the right movement as you can probably see uh, you should be able to see that uh, I just fill around with that once it works it works and you'll be fine no problem that's your basic normal channel for that lever if you want to go to the next for me as a beginner I figured well uh, flying elevons is easy so uh, the next step is uh, flying uh, maybe elevons and then adding the ailerons so it will roll faster the DF-18 on elevons only is uh, sluggish on the roll so I just want to use uh, a little bit of ailerons with my elevons so uh, it will roll faster uh, 
I don't want to use them going up or down the ailerons. Uh, just uh, when I uh, oh, well uh, when I want to roll that, and then you go to program mixing. So there's your program mixing, and there's different kinds of mixes possible. Uh, I'll just show you uh, for the switch. Uh, in the bottom you see uh, SW, that means switch, so uh, you have ID1, uh, that's basically a number one, you have, uh, oh, sorry, you have normal, well that would be for the switch on the N, neutral, normal, and then of course you got ID2, that's uh, the number two, uh, of course, number two. For me, mix number one goes to the switch number one. It's um, it's kind of hard trying to figure out, well, at least for me it was, uh, because what you want to do is uh, you set uh, the state to active, that's the top one, because if it would be in H, it would be inactive, something like that. So you want to set that to active, and then it's master. Your master is your aileron, and your aileron, when you see it at master, you need to think uh, the movement from the stick. Uh, normally with this stick, well, I got big fingers, uh, it would move your ailerons from left to right. So that's the master movement. Uh, maybe you should see it like that, master movement. The slave... Uh, as you can see here is, is rudder, well that doesn't make sense because we didn't uh, put in any rudders but what you have to think of is you, you see aileron, you see elevator, you see throttle, you see rudder, gyro, flaps, auxiliary. Ailerons is your channel 1. You have to start, th uh, don't think of it as ailerons think of it as channels, so L, uh, L number 1, channel 1, elevator is channel 2, channel 3, channel 4. What we really want to do, you have to start mixing um, for each gyro, so mix number 1 is going to tell the gyro, and in this case uh, rudder, uh, so it's going to tell the rudder gyro, channel number 4, what to do when I move master aileron. So, well, that's basically what it's going to do. <laughs> uh, when I move master aileron, uh, channel 4 is going to move with that. So, uh, channel 4, uh, you can see, channel 4 is going to move along with that. The numbers you see, minus 50, you just have to play around with it. Uh, I think if you get in reverse or just not reversed, you have uh, the other, you go the other way, you go to 50. Instead for me it was minus 50, so it's 50% uh, on your throws. I figured I'm a, I'm a noob, so uh, I'm gonna start with uh, small throws, so my plane won't be uh, going all over the place. So for my mix number one, I set up my fourth channel, uh, 50%, following aileron. And so for my next mix, mix number two, that is going to be ailerons as a master again. And slave, flaps. Flaps is channel six. You've got one ailerons, two elevator, three throttle, four rudder, five gyro, and six is your flaps. I'll just show you... Even though I just named them one, two, three, four, five, six. Just start thinking in channels instead of what's what's there. That should have been uh, different. And uh, they go the other way around. Instead of minus fifty, they go uh, plus fifty. And you see again switch number one. That's it. For my second position, I figured well. If I'm really, really confident in flying, 
uh, I want to throw my flaps uh, more so I just switch to number uh, position number two and you'll see my ailerons are moving way more than, than before and that's because I'm using for the switch I'm using mix number three and mix number four mix number three or mix number four sorry uh, ID number two so that's for the, the, the switch number two 100% on the flaps and uh, on the other mix uh, it's, uh, it's for the rudder input and it's, there you see rudder minus 100 so that's uh, that's basically how I set it up uh, now um, it's a mind state you don't you, you, you have to stop thinking uh, in the terms of rudder, aileron and elevator but start thinking in channels really uh, master is the, the, the throttle uh, no sorry the sticks master you have to think in sticks and slave you have to start thinking in channels and I really think that is the whole main issue I had with uh, coming to terms with programming on my uh, 9x. Uh, I want to thank Assault's Dream, he's helped me out a lot and I want to thank my uh, my next door neighbor because he helped me figure this out too. <laughs> Alright, uh, signing off, the maestro.